Hello everyone, how is it going? Today we're reacting for the first time to the song of San Marino for Eurovision 2024. This is very funny, you know, San Marino, one of the most iconic countries in Eurovision recently. So, oh my God, I'm super ready for this. But first of all, let's see what San Marino has been sending and obtaining in the last editions of the Eurovision Song Contest. This time, Spain is representing San Marino because Megara has won Una Voce per San Marino 2024. This is a Spanish alternative metal group from Madrid that was formed in 2015. It consists of four members, Kenzie vocalist, Robert guitar, Viti bass and Ratatache drums. In the year of their formation, they released their first EP titled Mueres, Muese Quien Pueda. The following year, they went on to release Siete, their first album. Their second album, Aquí Estamos Todos Locos, was released in 2018. 2019 is when the group started to gain more traction as they performed at the Resurrection Fest in Spain last year. Three years later, in 2022, they released their third album, Truco o Trato. In the Eurovision world, this is where I would like to come, 2023 is when they became known. Many may recognize, of course we recognize, their name from Spain's 2023 edition of Benidorm Fest. Megara took to the Benidorm 2023 stage with their song Arcadia, where they finished fourth play, for place. It was, you know, an amazing entry for Benidorm that year and I think it would have been amazing if they would have won last year of course Blanca Paloma was amazing but I really liked and I really enjoy Arcadia last year so I am expecting so much for Megara for this year for San Marino since Benidorm Fest 2023 the band has gone on to open for Japanese band Baby Metal, Baby Metal for their shows in Spain on their return tour. Okay, wow, I'm super looking forward to listen to this. This is going to be better than Arcadia. Let's judge it in a minute, so let's go. <laughs> Come on, Megara. Okay, you, please subscribe if you would like to see more reactions. Oh my god, um, always this eye-catching. I love this so much. Okay, Kenzie. Okay, the mix between the voice and the instrumentals is very bad. I, I can barely listen to her voice. Okay. Okay, this is not bad, right? Not bad. I think Arcadia in Benidorm Fest was more powerful, but let's keep on listening to this. <laughs> okay, choreography in that theater in San Marino. That is so iconic, right? I love San Marino. Okay, I already know the song. This is good. better and more polished than most of the San Marinese songs at Eurovision. This is a very good starting point for this year. Okay, these girls, these skeletons, what are they doing actually? Oh, this is so Spanish, they are representing Spain with this sound. Okay, okay, this is good. I mean, I like San Marino this year. Why not? Oh, this is good. I like this. I like the song. I like the staging, the concept. But I think that her voice will sound way better at Eurovision. 
I mean, this is a problem of the production of this national final. <laughs> okay, good. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> San Marino always this iconic. <coughs> If they bring a Turkish <laughs> old guy singing Say Na Na Na, or they bring, you know, a rock uh, disgusting song, <laughs> or they bring uh, this amazing rock song, I mean, they're always, always iconic. So this is why I love San Marino. I think that this is representing actually um, how they have opened their minds because, yeah, we have seen several years that San Marino has been represented by Italian singers and this year they have decided to open up and bring and let a Spanish group to represent the Republic. So I think this is good for them and they are going to get a better result than expected. Well actually I don't know if probably they are not going to reach the grand final but I suppose that this is going to be close to do that. Yeah, let's see. I believe in Megara. They know how to do uh, good stages when they have all the resources they need. I mean, the low income Una Voce per San Marino has uh, actually didn't disturb them to do such a good performance. So I do believe in this. Really, I do believe in this. Anyway, uh, I'm so happy that they are Spanish, of course. I am Spanish and they are from Madrid. And... Yeah, I think this is so good that Megara is finally, finally going to Eurovision. They tried in Benidorm Fest and finally they are going to Eurovision. This is so good for them. On the other side, Nebulosa last year uh, participated in Una Voce for San Marino. They didn't win. And now in Benidorm Fest, they have won. So, you know, this is the war on reversed. <laughs> Very funny. So, yeah. I'm happy for San Marino and also for Megara. So this has been all for today. I'm so happy that you're here listening to my reaction. And so subscribe so that you would see more content coming from this channel. Press the thumbs up, the thumbs up button if you have liked and comment here down below what do you think about this. Okay, see you in following videos. I love you so much. Bye.